Hello again, everyone. I'm out here on this dull, gray, dreary day because I just learned something new about the DJI FPV system. According to a thread over on RC Groups this morning, they talked about being able to increase the power output of the digital FPV system to 1,000 and 1,200 milliwatts. So I wanted to give it a shot, do some testing, and see how it works. Okay, so according to the instructions here on this RC Groups thread, it should be really simple to get these settings changed. All we really need to do is create a new text file called naco underscore pwr.txt. In that plain text file, enter pwr underscore 2. Save that to the SD card. Put the SD card into your goggles, power on your goggles in your air unit, and just like that, you're going to have the new options in the menus. So you can do that on a PC using a text edit program, and you can also do that on a Mac like I've got here, and I'm going to show you how. I'm going to fire up text edit, and I'm going to go to my SD card, and I'm going to create a new document, and I'm going to change the format to plain text. I am going to enter pwr underscore two. You could also do pwr underscore one, which will give you just the 1000 milliwatt power mode. Or you can do pwr underscore two and you'll get both the 1000 and the 1200 milliwatt power options in your menu. Since I wanna have both options, I'm gonna put in pwr underscore two. And then we need to save this file to the SD card. All right, I got the SD card selected, and I need to name this NACO underscore PWR. It's already got the .txt extension, so that should be good. Save that. And now we're all set. We just need to eject this and stick it in the goggles. All right, so I put the SD card in the goggles, fired up the air unit and the goggles, and now you can see if I go into the menu, I get 1,000 and 1,200 milliwatts. And now that it's on there, it's time to go outside and test it out. Okay, so the, for this flight, I've got the DJI system set to the 700 milliwatts, which is the maximum the base firmware allows you go to here in the United States for the FCC version. And I'm familiar with this area because I fly here all the time. So I'm going to go fly over behind those trees at the end of this field. I know my signal gets a little weak there. It's still not that far away, so it flies just fine. But hopefully I can stick the OSD information on this video and you'll be able to actually see what the signal strength is there and we'll be able to compare it when I up the power. Also over in that corner I know I get a little bit of a weak signal and if I'm sitting in the car that makes it worse. But let's give it a shot and see how it goes. Okay, so that was the first flight at 700 milliwatts. Let's up it to 1,000 and do that same flight again and see how it changes.
my initial impressions of that is that it seemed about the same when I got that far away. My red, the red bars came up and I had more pixelation on the screen, but I'm going to have to play that footage back sort of side by side and see if I can see much of a difference. Okay, for this flight, I'm going to up the power to 1200 milliwatts and see if there's any difference this time. All right, so that was the 1200 milliwatt test. And a lot of you might be asking, what about the heat at 1200 milliwatts? Isn't it gonna overheat? Well, I'm not too worried about that today. It's about 40 degrees outside. So the air unit, if I put my hands on it right now, even though it's still powered up, is basically cold. It's just slightly warmer than the air. So right now, I don't think I'd worry about it. In the summer when it was hot outside, maybe I would, but today, not so much. All right, so now I'm back at my computer editing this video and I'm trying to figure out if it really made much of a difference at all to go from 700 to 1,000 to 1,200 milliwatts, especially in those two locations that I know I was getting sort of a, a weak signal in that far corner of the field and the closer corner with a little bit of obstruction in the way. And it's I'm not really sure if I can tell. So I'm going to add in this video where you can see all three options, the 700, the 1,000, and the 1,200 milliwatts. They're all timed to be almost exactly at the same time and watch really closely at the bit rate and see if you can find any difference if one is really significantly better than the other. Or go back in this video and watch each of them independently and keep your eye on the, the pixelation in the screen and the bit rate down in the corner and see if one of the, if the higher power seems better to you. If it is, let me know. Uh, I, I'm really not so sure. So like if I watch this back and forth here as I'm getting farther away and when I pause it like this I can see like all three of these are pretty close to 10 megabits per second and when I go you know they're not totally synced up and then when it comes around here and fly by those trees again it drops and then I come out and they're all sort of in the low teens for megabits and then they jump back up to 25 when I get closer. I, I can't see much of a difference there personally. And then here when it jumps to the next segment, this is when I'm at the next, the corner in the road. And here again, you know, it's really hard to tell depending on where I pause it, the, the numbers are sort of jumping all around. But you kind of have to watch it back and forth a few times and see what you think the average looks like. Maybe the 1200 milliwatts a little bit better on average, but boy, I'm not so sure. So at this point, I would say maybe if I, uh, if this kind of flying, I don't think adding or moving the power up to 1200 milliwatts really makes much of a difference at all. 
Now, if you're going for distance, uh, maybe it would make a big difference there, but this isn't really a distance test. This is not very long range. So I'm curious, what do you guys think? Can you tell? Do you think I should be running at 1,000 or 1,200 milliwatts? I should also mention that at 1,200 milliwatts, it's against the current FCC regulations, which say in the 5.8 gigahertz range, you cannot feed more than 1,000 milliwatts to an antenna. And also you need to be careful because if you put directional antennas on that are more than 6 decibel gain, that also breaks, I believe, the part... 15 FCC regulations for the maximum EIRP that you can send out. But maybe if you have a ham license, you're allowed to go more than that. I'm not a complete expert in that area. Okay, so for this part, I'm just going to let you watch this for yourselves and tell me what you think. Is one of the power levels be significantly better than any of the other power levels? All right, that's going to do it for me today out here testing the 1200 milliwatt, 1000 milliwatt hack for the DJI FPV system. Uh, my initial just testing like that, I couldn't really tell the difference, maybe a little tiny bit. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and you learned something new and I'll see you next time.